Hello friends, welcome to our channel. My name is Esther. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, you are in the right place. Please hit that subscribe button and join the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back to watch our videos. Guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to sew this school uniform shirt. Okay, previously I did a video on how to cut the school uniform shirt with a zipper. It's actually a requested video from one of our subscribers. She asked us to make a screen from short with a zipper in the front and side pocket because we already have a tutorial on how to make a screen from short, the cutting and the stitching aspects in this channel. Okay, so I said I was going to do the first part, which is the cutting, and the second part, which is the sewing. So for this particular video, we're going to be sewing the screen from short we already cut out. Can you see? So if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to be dropping the link to this video on the description box. So you go there and check it out first before coming to this particular one. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do, here we have the, this is a back panel. This is a band, waistband. This is the zipper fly or zipper flap, anyone you call it. Um, these are the two pockets and the front panel okay sorry that they are not together that's i have to use my overlocker to um, overlock the rough edges of those shirts first before we start sewing okay so now i'm going to be starting with the pockets of this shirt so i'm going to be grabbing the front panel and the two pockets can you see so i'm going to be grabbing the front panel of this shirt okay so this is a pocket and this is a front panel already added interfacing to this part to give you stability okay this is the pocket opening so if you haven't watched the video just go and watch the cutting aspect if you have watched cutting aspect you should know what we are doing here okay so now i'm going to be grabbing my pocket this is the wrong side of the pocket and this is the right side of the pocket this is the right side of the shirt and the wrong side of the shirt so the first thing so the first thing i'm going to do is to grab the wrong side of the pocket and the wrong side of the shirt i'm going to place them together like this can you see what i'm doing because we already had a notch here and here i'm not going to be explaining what measurements I used here because I already did that in the previous video okay so what I'm going to do is also uh, I'm going to also notch the pocket itself just like I have notched the basic shirt the body of the shirt also so I'm just transferring my notches to the pocket okay now after that I'm going to be folding in this way can you see what i'm doing like this can you see so after folding this way i'm going to go ahead and stitch mm -hmm. half an inch So this is major stitching and I will stop at the notch like this, okay? So can you see what I have here? So after stitching, can you see what we have? I'm going to open it up this way and allow this part to be on the pocket itself, not the shirt. So I'm going to top stitch on top of it like this. So just watch what I'm doing. So make sure that you overlock the rough edges before you do all of this so that it gives it a clean finishing. Okay, so I'm just going to secure my stitches like this. So whatever I'm doing to this um, pocket, to this side of the shirt, I'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side, okay? So after, after I was done doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to close the pocket okay now 
I'm going to be closing the pocket not this way okay but I'm going to be picking it like this from the middle like this hope that is clear let me explain again you're not going to close it this way okay you're going to be picking it from the middle like this and you align it together like this okay so I'm going to be stitching it Then we stitching all the way like this. So I'm going to be stopping. You know, there's a notch here already. So I'm going to be stopping half an inch before the first notch, and I'm going to create another notch here like this. So this is where I'm going to stop my stitches and secure my stitch. Okay. After I was done doing this, the next thing is. Is that I'm going to reduce this allowance the reason is that when we flip it inside out uh, I wouldn't want this um, allowance to be too much because we are going to be top stitching on top of it I'm going to go ahead to reduce it a little bit okay so this is me just trying to reduce it note that whatever you do to this part you're going to repeat the same thing to the other side of the pocket okay you know we are going to be doing two pockets after that i'll just turn it inside that can you see just watch closely what i'm doing okay so this is what i have when i was done turning it inside out the next step is to top stitch on the pocket just watch and learn okay you just top stitch on top of it make sure you arrange very well and you top stitch okay like this like this so I'm going to stop here mm -hmm. so can you see so can you see what we have this is it and this is it so I'll just go ahead and arrange it properly like this okay can you see that the pocket is coming together already i'm going to trim this can you see this one here i'm going to trim it off this particular one yeah so now the next thing is to close to secure this pocket here like this with this one can you see we have to secure them together like close it i don't know how to explain it secure it together just watch what i'm doing okay now you have to make sure that what you have here is two inches okay because that's what we left while we were notching okay can you see so now i'm going to secure this part i'm taking my time to explain because of the beginner so that so that you um you understand what i'm doing step by step can you see what i'm doing okay after that I'm just going to do the same thing to the upper part securing my pocket in place okay make sure you arrange it properly before you secure it so when I was done stitching it down this is the pocket can you see it can you see how neat it is and this is the back view okay it's looking so neat and beautiful can you see it now I'm going to repeat the same thing I did here to the other side so I'll come back to show you the next step so this is what I have when I was done fixing my pocket. Can you see the upper part and this part also? Can you see how clean the pocket is? So the next thing I'm going to do is to join my back panel and the front panel together. Okay. So I want to go ahead and place. I'm going to be placing right side of the front panel and right side of the back panel like this. Okay, and I'm going to be joining here on the side together like this to so the M by half an inch. Okay, so whatever I'm doing to this one, I'm going to be repeating the same thing to the other one. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead 
and drain it. Okay, so you have to note that when you get to this part, make sure you are pushing the pocket aside. Don't stitch on top of the pocket, okay? So, and this part also, just watch what I'm doing. Okay, push the pocket aside and secure your stitches and make sure you stitch all the way to the M line like this. Okay, once you get to the parts, once you get to this part, just go ahead and secure your stitches. Okay, so this is what we have here now the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to flip the the allowance to the back side this part not the side that has pocket it should be facing the side this direction and you're going to top stitch just watch what I'm doing closely you're going to top stitch can you see that is is um the allowance I'm top stitching on is very small. Can you see? While you go, you take your time and arrange properly. Okay. Make sure your hand is straight. Okay. Don't rush. Just take your time and do a perfect job. Okay. So once I'm done. I'm going to be repeating the same process to the second one. Can you see? This is so. This is what we have. Can you see? Can you see how neat it is? So I'm going to repeat the same process to the other one. Then I'll come back to show you the next step. So this is what we have. When I was done ironing, it, can you see? When I was done ironing, it, can you see it? This is the second one. Can you see I need it there? Now the next thing I'm going to do is to pick the right side and the right side of this one and the right side of this one together like this. The crotch area for the front panel. Okay. I'm going to align both together like this. Okay. Now after aligning them, I'm going to be marking five inches from this part five inches that's going to be for my zipper opening okay for an adult you can use um seven inches but for this one i'm going to be using five inches because it's for a a little boy okay so i'm going to mark five inches and notch i'll measure five inches and i will notch it can you see? Just going to create a notch there. I'm just notching it very well. Okay, so this is it. Now from this part, I'm going to stitch together this other part. Can you see this part? Leaving this part open, okay? This is what I mean. I'm going to be stitching this part by half an inch, okay? Making sure that I didn't cross this notch. So I'm just going to stitch together like this and I'll secure my stitches. I'm going to be doing that twice just to make sure that my stitches are um, well secured okay you know this part is a very sensitive part of the shirt we wouldn't want it to um, easily lose maybe when the child is running or doing sports it can easily loosen up okay so that's the reason we are going twice that's why we are stitching it twice okay that is clear 
so now after we are done doing that okay just watch me carefully and closely at this point because this is the sensitive part of this shirt the zipper part is very very sensitive because that's what people will be seeing whenever they are seeing the shirt okay now i'm going to be opening it hope you can see what i'm doing yeah okay i'm going to open it up like this Okay, let me do it this way again can you see just open this one up out of the way we're working on this one first now to know the right zipper flap for each side is that by the time you place your zipper flap it should be facing the shorts not this way okay imagine i'm placing this one now it's not the right one can you see the direction it is facing Sorry that my zipper flap is having this funny shape here, okay? Okay, so this is the right one for this side, okay? This is the left side of the shirt, okay? So this is the right flap for this side, okay? So now, I'm going to fold my flap into two. Can you see? I already over, overlocked the rough edges. So I'm going to fold it this way, into two, like this. And I'm going to be placing my zipper, can you see? like this now, after placing your zipper first can you see because this allowance we left is five inches and the zipper is far far longer than that okay we are going to allow some part of the zipper to be on top like extra on top hope you can see on top like this we are going to be trimming this part off later so i'm going to fold my zipper flap like this or zipper fly like this so i'm going to place it on top of it so it's going to be in between the shirt and the flap the zipper is going to be in between the shirt and the flap so i'm just aligning it like this so after that i'm going to stitch mm -hmm. stitch it down Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to be stitching it down like this. Just watch closely. If you don't understand what I'm explaining, just watch me closely, and you're going to get it. Okay, and if you don't understand, you can um, slow it down and watch it again till you get what I'm trying to explain, okay? So I'm just taking my time to stitch the zipper so the left hand side, okay? So you make sure you don't cross the notch, like this notch that we made here. I'm going to make sure I will not cross it, okay? So while you're doing yours to don't cross the notch, when you get to the notch, you secure your your zipper like this okay so so when you open it up this is what you're going to have okay so can you see that this part is not close enough like this part so i'm just going to close it up i'm just being careful so that i won't stitch on top of my zipper head okay this is it here we have it can you see can you see it? this is what we have now the other one for the second side which is the right hand side can you see my hand the right hand side i'm just going to this is the flap okay so i'm going to place my flap on it like this can you see and i'm going to stitch it Just take a close look at what I'm doing, friends. You're going to get it. It's very simple. I think this is the major part of this shirt. So I'm going to be starting my stitches from the bottom part. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to explain. So I'm not going to cross the notch like I said earlier. I'm going to stitch it like this, right side facing right side like this okay so 
this is what I'm doing here basically so once I was done this is what I have okay this is how it's going to look like can you see okay just make sure you do not cross the notch can you see my notch here so this is what you're going to have so I'm just going to go ahead and, and iron this out and also this part so I'll come back to show you the next step so when I was done ironing this is what I have here okay now the next thing we are going to do is that so this is the right side hope you can see we have joined this part to so this the flap to this part okay so now we are going to place it on top like this I'm first of all going to fold it in can you see after folding it in and uh, placing it like this can you see the front this one is going to overlap like it's going to cover the zipper like this hope you understand what I'm saying like this so now we are stitching the zipper to the flap not the main shirt okay so now I'm going to pick it this way so at this point you can first secure it down with your pins and if you can do it without securing it, fine. If you can do it without securing it, then it is fine. So now I'm going to raise this up. Okay. So now this is the, the flap and the zipper. You are not stitching this flap. Oh. Can you understand? This other flap, you are stitching it to the zipper. This zipper to this flap. Okay. That's what we are doing here. So make sure you push this one aside and you so if you can't stitch it like this you can flip it to this side so that you'll be able to control your your zipper okay so this is it so I'm just going to go ahead like this and can you see so I'm going to start stitching secure your stitch okay and then you continue stitching like this okay just take your time and do a perfect job okay so by the time I get there, I'm going to just go ahead and secure like this. Here we have it. Okay, so I'm going to cut up my thread. And then let's see what we have. Can you see that even without ironing it, it's already overlapping. Can you see this is what we are supposed to have? is overlapping the zipper already can you see now can you see so you just go ahead and iron it down and then if you notice your shirt there's this um zipper flap curve that is always at the front like this like this and it will come like this i don't know if you understand let me use a truck to illustrate it for you so this is what we have can you see how it's overlapping already so now for this part this um zipper curve <laughs> i don't know what you call it that is always at the front of a uh, shirt whenever you see them is is always um 1.5 inches okay so what we are going to do is to mark 1.5 inches like this i'm just using truck to illustrate it for you so that if your hand is not straight you you can mark it out so it's going to come this way like this like this like this like the curve is going to come this way like this like this can you see so this guy is supposed to look like but for me i'm not going to follow this i'm just going to go like this and create it but for those people that cannot you have to mark it out first before you stitch it okay so right now i'm just going to go ahead and stitch it out i'll make sure that make sure it is overlapping like this 
arrange it properly okay so let it overlap so now you're going to go ahead and stitch it so you have to know that for men shirts or a man or a little boy the ass is on the right hand side can you see but for female is always on this side which is the left hand side so whatever you did here if you are sewing a female shirt um what we did at this side is meant to be at this side so what we did at this side is meant to be at this side that's the only way you can get your curve around this area if you're sewing for a female for a man it's going to be at this right hand side i hope that is clear and i also wanted to note that some some of those shirts always have um that some school uniform shirt also have that why some does not have that so for this one we are making it doesn't have it that okay so if you want yours to have it that you can actually add your that um allowance to it okay so so just make sure it is um straight so i'm just going to secure it here yeah, that's it So here we have it can you see it can you see you can follow yours because it's this a little boy I have to just um, make it smaller a little do you understand so this is what we have can you see it's overlapped very well can you see so when you open it up it's going to look like this can you see it must not overlap as in when you open it up it should be separate you should not stitch it together with the lower part okay so this is what we have now i'm going to go ahead and trim this part you know it's not equal now i'm going to zip it to this extent please note that you must not zip yours here if you zip it here and you decide to trim it off, you have wasted the zip. You will have to lose the whole thing. So, you, you're you going to zip it down a little. So, I'm going to zip it down a little like this. Can you see? Then, I'm going to shapen this part. You can see that it's more. So, I'm just going to cut off this part like this. Can you not see that it's the same? You should know why this waistline is not straight. It's, if you want to know, just go and watch the cutting aspect. You'll be fine with it, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is to fix our waist. So, the first thing I'm going to do is to start from this part, okay? So, this is my waistband. I'm going to open it up this way and place it this way. I'm going to be leaving some allowance. Can you see what I'm doing? That is because I want to have a clean finishing. When I'm done, I'm going to turn it. Okay. So this is it. Um, what I did was to cut excess waistband. Okay, it's longer than the actual waist. Can you see? Okay, so now I'm going to open up my zipper like this and then I'm going to start stitching like this. Mm -hmm. Using half an inch, so. okay. okay, when you get here. Like this. Okay, now did you see the reason I flipped it over? This is it. Okay, can you see? Can you see what I just did? And then I'm going to fold it over like this. And I'm going to top stitch. 
so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be top stitching from the front so that i'll be able to control my stitches and flip it over like this and i'm going to do um top stitching from the front i'm going to do stitching the dish i don't know if you understand i'm going to be stitching here so that it doesn't show so that it will not be obvious so while you stitch arrange whatever you have here okay and you see what i'm doing but if if you feel you can stitch it from the back and your stitches will be clean and neat you can also do that but i would advise that you do this method is to give your work a clean and a perfect finishing okay so i'll just secure my stitches like this and that's it and here we have it can you see what we have here can you see the back how neat it is so i'm just going to go ahead and trim off this back like this so now i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side okay so at this part you can decide to stitch this part down also like this see that is open can you see that it's open so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch it down like this i'm taking my time to explain very well here because of the beginners okay so i'm going to do the same thing to this other part also So I'm just going to secure my stitches here and so so this is what we have here also so I'm just going to turn it making sure that you're pushing this part out and then fold it over flip it over sorry like this Can you see this is what it looks like at the back but remember what i did for the first two i'm going to be starting my stitches from the front so that i'll be able to control control whatever i'm doing okay i'm going to stitch in Can you see what we have? So I've gone ahead to pin this part down, okay, because I want to drain this crotch at the back, okay. The waist I'm working with is 20 inches, okay. So now we are going to be dividing it by two, okay. Can you see? So 20 divided by two is what 10 inches. Can you see? 20 divided by two is 10. So this is a 10 here. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that they are aligning at this part. Can you see? So I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it, making sure that it is aligning. Okay, so just so while I come, I'm just going to be um, reducing it. Can you see? I'll be reducing it. Okay. So I'm just going to do this for like twice. I'm doing it twice, two times. 
that is because I want to just secure everything in place so that it doesn't lose later okay so just going again like this okay while I go I reduce I reduce okay so like this so once I'm done this is what we are going to be having now I'm going to be aiming the bottom part, the lower part, by the allowance I left. I left 2 inches, I'll fold half and fold 1.5 inch. I'll do the same thing to this part and I'm going to aim this. Then I'll come back to show you the next step. So first I've gone ahead to aim the bottom, can you see? And I also stitch, close the, this part, can you see? Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do is to put my uh, my my bed holes. Okay, what I did was to cut this fabric 1.5 inches. Okay, so I folded it half and um, quarter quarter, and I folded it again like this. Can you can you see what I'm doing? Let me use this fabric to explain. 1.5, and I folded it like this. Folded it like this. And I folded it again, so I just top stitch like that for both sides. Can you see? So now what I'm going to do is to, you can use between 2.5 to 3 inches for your bed um, holes. I mean bed loop. Anyhow you call it, your bed loop. Okay. So for me, I'm going to be using um, 3 inches. Okay. So I'll just cut 3 inches. You can use 2.5, you can use 3 inches. So I just cut. So here are my loops. What I'm going to be using to create my bed holes or bed loop. So the first thing I'm going to do is to you have to um, know what you have as your waistline so you're going to be dividing it in some cases you can do 3 inches or 3.5 or even 4 inches in tower okay so for me I'm going to mark from this part I'm going to mark 3.5 inches and you see that I already marked it here so the next one or so I'm going to be marking 3.5 inches or so like this so from this part the second part I'll mark 3.5 inches like this 3.5 sorry the next one 3.5 here yeah. so after that the remaining part that is remaining I'm just going to look for a way to just fix it so that it will be um balanced okay because of the waist that I'm working with, so the next thing you're going to do is to grab it like this, and you're going to fold it like this. Can you see? You're going to fold it this way, like this, and just place it like this on top, like this, and you're going to stitch it down. Cut up my thread, and I'm going to fold this lower part like this. And I'm going to place it on top also like this. And I'm going to stitch it down. Also, make sure it is straight, okay? Like this, and go ahead and stitch like this. So this is it. So because I didn't want this video too long, let me just do another one more for you guys. A place is like this. Okay. So you do the same thing and fold this part. 
and also 12 stitch okay now the next one is going to be here this midpoint i'm going to put one here okay i also put one here okay and put the last one here so i will do all of these and then um fix my beds you can put your button holes here and put your button then we'll come back to show you the final look of this shirt so friends this is the final look of the shirt can you see how neat it is after i was done ironing can you see the button and the button holes okay look at the other side can you see how beautiful it is? If you have derived value from this tutorial, please, please don't leave without subscribing. Don't forget to like, share, and drop a comment. My name is Esther, and this is QS Fashion Up. Don't stop learning, keep learning. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.